Hi, my name is Cindy and I'm from Houston. I was a Republican from childhood until 2016 when Trump came along. I remember in elementary school visiting with a cafeteria worker who had a big button with a picture of Hubert Humphrey on it. And I asked her why she was voting for him. And she said, oh, I be think he's cute. That's the reason I'm voting for him. And I just thought, people, we've got to do better. We've got to go deeper than this. <laughs> and then uh, when Nixon was elected and before he got into big trouble, I kind of felt sorry for him. So I made him some cookies and I was so impressed that his press secretary responded with a thank you note. And I thought, you know, politics is pretty cool. But on a more serious note, I just thought recently, at least Nixon had the dignity to resign and Trump is magnitudes worse than that. What a disloyal person and a creep. I still can't believe it. And then by the election of 2016, I knew Trump was a con man and a failed businessman. I mean, who goes broke running a casino, really? And you have all the Trump University things and all the other businesses, too. He had a strange affinity for Putin and probably relatedly was fixated on dividing our country. I remember, as you may, his references to American carnage in his inauguration speech. And I remember that W reacted to that by saying, boy, that was some weird shit. Yes, it was. So in the current time period, now due, his, due to his short-sightedness, toxic narcissism, and callous disregard for human life, we have tens of thousands of people suffering and dying from COVID. It's just another version of American carnage, and it's just horrific. In 2016, when I became an independent, Texas wasn't yet a swing state, and I, as it is now. I I really despised Hillary's condescension and couldn't vote for her. And Trump was a lethal threat to our democracy. So as a matter of conscience, I voted libertarian. This year, I'm voting for Joe Biden because he's a decent person. He's sympathetic, he's empathetic and he's patriotic. I hope you'll join me in voting for Joe.